Hi, would you like to learn about Canada's provinces and territories? Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen and today you're going to learn how to pronounce the names of Canada's provinces and territories along with their capital cities. To begin, Canada has 13 different places that are divided. We have three territories and 10 provinces for a total of 13 different unique areas. The three territories are in the northern part of Canada. They are colder than other parts of Canada and also have a smaller population than the provinces. The first territory I want to take a look at is Yukon. Yukon is the westernmost territory. It is beside Alaska. The capital of Yukon is Whitehorse. Whitehorse is the capital of Yukon. Beside Yukon, we have the Northwest Territories. The capital of Northwest Territories is Yellowknife. Yellowknife is the capital of the Northwest Territories. Beside Northwest Territories is Canada's easternmost territory. The name of this territory is Nunavut. Nunavut is also Canada's newest territory. It became a territory when I was a child in 1999. The capital of Nunavut is Iqaluit. Iqaluit is the capital of Nunavut. Now, let's take a look at Canada's 10 provinces. The majority of Canadians live in the provinces. Provinces are a little bit different from territories, not just because they have larger populations, but also because each province has a provincial government and provincial taxes that will contribute to things like hospitals and schools. The federal government means the government of Canada. Let's take a look at our 10 provinces. Our westernmost province is British Columbia. Most people just say BC for short. The capital of British Columbia is Victoria. Victoria is the capital of British Columbia. However, Vancouver is also a very popular city in British Columbia. You might remember that the 2010 Olympics were held in Vancouver. The province beside British Columbia is Alberta. The capital of Alberta is Edmonton. Edmonton is the capital of Alberta. Calgary is also a very popular city in Alberta. It's most famous for the Calgary Stampede. Both Alberta and British Columbia are well known for the Rocky Mountains, sometimes just called the Rockies. The next province beside Alberta is Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan is probably the most difficult province name to pronounce. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. The capital of Saskatchewan is Regina. Regina, which means queen in oh, Latin, really? is the capital of Saskatchewan. Regina is the capital of Saskatchewan, but another big city is Saskatoon. When I say the word Saskatoon, I remember Saskatoon berry pie. Very delicious. One interesting fact about the province of Saskatchewan is that they are the only province in Canada that does not do daylight savings time. They don't change their clocks forward and backwards in the fall and spring like the rest of Canada does. The province besides Saskatchewan is Manitoba. The capital of Manitoba is Winnipeg. 
In my Canadian slang video, I mentioned that a popular nickname for Winnipeg is the Peg. And since then, I received many comments telling me that another popular nickname for Winnipeg is Winter Peg. Winter Peg. This is because Winnipeg has very cold winters. Beside Manitoba is the province where over 40% of all Canadians live. It is the most populated province in Canada. This province is Ontario. The capital of Ontario is Toronto. Most native speakers don't speak as clearly as I do though and don't actually say Toronto. They usually just say Toronto, Toronto. Some popular nicknames for Toronto include the Six, the Big Smoke, and the T-Dot. The capital of Canada is also in Ontario. The capital of Canada is Ottawa. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. I already mentioned that the Rocky Mountains are in the western area of Canada. In the eastern area of Canada, we also have one of Canada's most popular tourist destinations, and this is Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is also in Ontario. Beside Ontario is the province of Quebec. Quebec is a unique province because although most of Canada tries to be bilingual, they really aren't. <laughs> and in Quebec, people tend to speak French more than they do English. The capital of Quebec is Quebec City. However, personally, I think the most famous city in Quebec isn't Quebec City, but is actually Montreal. Montreal is also a great city in Quebec. The last four provinces that we have in Canada border the Atlantic Ocean. So these four provinces are on the Atlantic coast. And often the four provinces are grouped together using the word the Maritimes. So they are the Maritime Provinces. The biggest Maritime Province is Newfoundland and Labrador. Most people call it just simply Newfoundland. Be careful though, many people who are not Canadian try to pronounce this word as Newfoundland. We do not pronounce it that way. We say Newfoundland, Newfoundland. The capital of Newfoundland is St. John's. St. John's is the capital of Newfoundland. The next province is New Brunswick. New Brunswick. The capital of New Brunswick is Fredericton. Fredericton is the capital of New Brunswick. As I mentioned before, most of Canada tries to be bilingual. Bilingual meaning able to speak two languages. Most of Canada, however, speaks primarily only English. And in Quebec, people speak primarily only French. However, New Brunswick is actually Canada's truly bilingual province, where the majority of people living there can fluently speak both English and French. Yay, New Brunswick! Now, let's take a look at Canada's smallest province. Canada's smallest province is Prince Edward Island. Most people will just call it PEI for short. PEI is famous for growing many potatoes in Canada, but is also internationally known for Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables comes from PEI. The capital of Prince Edward Island is Charlottetown. Charlottetown is the capital of PEI. And now the province of Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia technically means New Scotland, but it is a part of Canada, not a part of Scotland. <laughs> So Nova Scotia is the name of this province. The capital of Nova Scotia is 
Halifax. Halifax is the capital of Nova Scotia. So today you learned about Canada's 13 different areas, our three territories and 10 provinces. Hopefully this information will make you want to come and visit this great country even more. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, how is your country divided? Do you have territories, provinces, states, prefectures, or do you just have cities? Let me know about your country in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen's Jugio and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies, eh? See you in the next lesson. Thank you.